How would you feel if everywhere you went, you saw your national flag being flown? Well, that's the reality in Denmark. You can't avoid seeing the Danish flag everywhere. But why is that and what are the rules around it? You'll find the flag in shop windows, supermarkets, streets, homes and flagpoles of different shapes and sizes in many people's gardens. The list really does go on. Legend has it that the Danish flag, also known as Danapol, fell from the sky during the Battle of Lundanis in present-day Estonia. This helped the Danish army to an unexpected victory. Danapol is the oldest continuously used national flag. The Danish flag is a symbol of celebration. It is flown on special occasions from birthdays to anniversaries and funerals. There's a long list of national days and also royal birthdays where the flag is also flown. At a typical birthday party, you'll see the flag lining people's homes, on napkins, outside their front door, on the table and on the cakes. If you'd like to message someone happy birthday or congratulate them, don't forget to add the Danish flag emoji. Greeting cards usually have the Danish flag too. During large events, it's common to see entire towns and cities lined with flags. But there are many rules around using the flag. In fact, Denmark Samfunnen have an 88 page guide on how to use the Danish flag properly. Here are just some of the main rules. It must be raised after sunrise but never before 8 a.m. You must also face the flag at all times. You should handle the flag with respect. The flag mustn't touch the ground. Then a pole must be lowered before sunset. There is a special way to fold the flag. When folding the flag, the white cross must be hidden. If the Danish flag is to be flown alongside other nearby flags, it must be raised first and from the left side. Following that, the other flags are raised in alphabetical order. The flag should be clean and undamaged. When the flag does become too worn out, it must be burned. Denmark doesn't usually allow any flags other than its own to be flown, unless with special permission. This doesn't apply to the Greenlandic, Faroese or other Nordic nations flags, or the EU and UN flags, which can be flown freely without special permission. So, I would love to know what you think. Have you been to any other countries that fly their flag just as much as the Danes do? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in next week's video.